What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Tiffany, aka Pretty, and I'm back with you guys with another video. So, remember, I said I was going to make a video about my um, review on my first year in truck truck driving. Okay, so this is the video. So, stay tuned. Okay, so, <laughs> so basically, I started out um researching trucking i don't know what led me to it but it wasn't nothing that i actually had a passion for um so basically you know i have a lot of family members that drive trucks and you know i became interested because i believe it was because of the um the pay you know i figured that i can make you know some nice money in this and it wasn't a get rich type thing that I was trying to do um and then I like to travel so I always said I wanted to travel so I said okay well this is a good way to actually travel and work and get paid you know this is a nice career so basically the way that I started out was I did my research on it I basically looked up how long I had to go to school and I looked up how old you had to be and what were the requirements that I needed to have in order to qualify. So once I checked all of those off, I saw that I qualified, you know, to become a truck driver. So I basically um, found this school online and it was called 160 driving academy so i called them up and they gave me all the information i needed you know to enroll and i gave them all the information that they needed from me to see if you know i qualify and everything which i did so i started truck driving school around this time last year okay and it was pretty interesting you know i had my ups and my downs my good and my bad you know i went to class for about four weeks but it's actually for four weeks but i ended up staying in school for six weeks so the first week in truck driving school you're going to sit in the classroom and you're basically just going to study your general knowledge air brakes combination everything you need to know dealing with trucking okay after you do that after i did all of that i um went to the the dmv and i took my general knowledge air brakes and combination tests all in the same day and i passed the test i believe it was fifty dollars you know to take i believe it was fifty dollars so I passed everything in one day, took my picture, and I got my permit. So, of course, I was happy, you know, sitting in that class and just wondering, you know, am I going to actually do this? You know, am I actually going to do this? So I had my permit, so I'm like, okay, I might as well continue. So once I got my permit, it was like a celebration, but it really wasn't because I didn't have my license my CDL license, right? So, I try not to get too excited. But I was so ready to go to the yard. I was like, okay, I'm finna get in the truck now. So, the next week, after I got my license and everything, Monday came. Well, not my license, my permit. Monday came. I went to um, the yard. And there was like about, I say about six trucks six trucks they were doing all type of things backing up skills and road tests so i'm like my heart pumping and i'm like man i'm really finna do this you know and i'm a female getting into this so it was kind of like okay this is like a man's job you know this is more of a man's career it isn't really not for women you know but i said i'm gonna do it anyway so, um, got to truck driving school, to the yard, and 
the first day we had to back up we had to do straight backing up so basically that's what we did and when i tell you when i got in that truck the first time i was terrible they have lines going straight down and you just have to back up i was going all over the place <laughs> all over the place and i was so embarrassed but you know i couldn't get embarrassed because it was my first day you know i don't know what i'm doing i'm just getting the feel of the truck so i really couldn't get embarrassed you know because it was other people there with just the amount just about the same knowledge that i had about a truck none okay so there was no reason why i should have been embarrassed but um i i got the hang of it after a while not the first day but probably like maybe the second or the third day you know a little bit just backing up that's it um then you know after we do backing up then we would then i did what did we do next i believe after we back up they would have us do a ride along with um a trainer and it's about five of us inside of a truck and yeah it's about five of us in the back inside of a truck with the trainer and you know basically he's just taking us around a little course where we drive and he basically trying to show us how to basically drive a truck um it is kind of nerve-wracking the first try because you're in a truck with a lot of people and everybody's just watching you and you know like man i don't want to mess up i don't want to look crazy but you got to do what you got to do this is for you this is not for the next person it's for you you that for you so you can't worry about what the next person think because they doing the same thing you doing trying to get their cd license so i did that then we did our skills test basically we would park diagonal vertical basically all type of parking they would show you how to park you know um all type of things you know we learned so while i'm in truck driving school i'm just basically paying attention to everything that i need to learn then actually before you actually get in the truck you have to really do your pre-trip so you really have to know all of your parts in the truck you have to know all the parts in the truck you have to know what's under the hood you have to know what is supposed to be there what's not supposed to be there you have to know what's not supposed to be leaking you know you have to know that there shouldn't be any holes or anything you know everything has to be legit functional on the truck before you can actually drive it so you know they showed me all of those things and i was determined to get it you know i studied every day i went home studying i was at school studying could nobody interrupt me because i'm like i'm finna get this i gotta get this i gotta get this i gotta get this so yeah um i finally got down my um pre-trip because once you get your pre-trip together and once you get your road test driving together once you get your skills together and everything you need to know then it's time for you to test out you know so you spent so you've been in school for like four weeks because that's how long it's supposed to last now it's time for you to test out so now someone comes in from the state to test you and you better know everything because if you don't you're going back to school for another week and that's not fun i did it twice and i didn't like it okay so i um when i got tested i passed my pre-trip on the first try okay i did that then it was time for me to take my skills test and you know every time everyone is getting tested or something i don't know what it is when you're getting tested you just get scared or you like chicken out and you get real nervous so now you're messing up so of course that's what i did 
I messed up on my skill sets and I had to come back to school for another week and I didn't like it I didn't like it at all you know I was just trying to rush and get out of school actually I wasn't trying to rush but I really wanted it so bad you know I wanted it so bad but I was too nervous I should have just been comfortable you know but then you know after spending another week in school I was ready so I got tested again and I passed my skill test so now after I passed my skill test now it's time for me to do the road test so heart pumping out of my chest right I'm getting ready to go take my road test I get in the truck with the instructor and I'm just praying I'm like Lord Jesus please let me pass this test please Lord Please, Lord, please let me pass this test and walk out of here today with my CDL license in hand. Whew, that's all I kept saying. So, I got in the truck. And when you get in the truck, make sure you use three points of contact. Okay? I did leave one thing out. Uh, 160 Driving Academy, Academy teaches you how to drive um, stick shift. So... That's how I learned stick shift. So basically, I have no restrict restrictions on my license. So I can drive automatic and I can drive stick shift. So I get in the truck using three points of contact because the instructor or the person testing you is going to be paying attention. So you get in, make sure you put your seatbelt on, okay? Make sure before you pull off, or try to pull off, attempt to pull off, make sure you check because your stick shift, you got to make sure that it's in neutral because sometimes they will put it in a gear, you know, and you thinking that it's in neutral and it's in gear, okay? I didn't get got like that because somebody warned me, but I always check anyway. You know, you have to always check behind someone. So, I did my road test. I was doing good and everything, and... I couldn't get my gears right. I was just nervous. Like, I kept missing gears. I kept grinding gears. I kept just all messing up. I was like, oh, Lord, I failed this test. I know I did. I was saying that to myself. So when we got back, I didn't even get a chance to finish the whole course. The instructor told me, you know what, just turn right here. Because I knew how long the course was. So he told me, just turn around and go back and park. So I'm like, please, please tell me how fast. I looked over at him and he said, well, you know you didn't pass that one. I said, yeah, I know. So, got out the truck and yes, I did cry. I didn't cry in front of him, but I cried in the damn car. I was like, damn, I thought I had it. So, of course, I had to come back to school for another week. And you know, it's crazy when you've been in school all this time and everybody know it's your test day and they see you come walking back. Oh, no, nah, don't tell me that you didn't pass. That's embarrassing. It's embarrassing because, you know, if you, was that, if you was that student in class that just talked all that shit about, man, I know I got this, I'm going to pass. You telling everybody how you know this truck and know this and know that, but you back in class for another week because you didn't do your shit right. You know, don't be that person. But I wasn't that person. So, yeah, in school for another week. Then, the last week. So, I actually had to stay in school for six weeks. The class was only four, but I was there for six. I finally passed the last day, and it was a celebration. I was so happy. I flew to the um, DMV and got my um, CDL. Trust me, I did. And I was just so happy about that. So, now, after I got my CDL... Then I went to U.S. Express, okay? That was the first company that I went to. I went to U.S. Express, and I started with them. Um, it was April. I believe I started with them in June, okay? So I started with them in June. I went to U.S. Express, and I did my over-the-road training, with them and I had a female trainer for about four weeks and I actually had 
three trainers, okay? I don't, don't ask me why, but I had three trainers. First trainer, that been my first time being on the truck. And you really think you really want to do this? I was like a nervous wreck because, you know, I got, I got kids. So, everybody got kids. You know, if you ain't got no kids, everybody got kids. So, I got kids, right? And I'm trying to do this training. And I'm trying to get used to being away from my kids. So, of course, it's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. And it was hard. You know, having to be away from my kids, calling my kids on the phone, crying. Like, I miss you. I miss you, too. I love you. It was hard. But I knew what I was doing. I was trying to do this for them. It wasn't just for me. It was for them also, you know. I'm trying to better myself so that I can be a better parent for them, you know. So I can be in a better, a better position for them. So I had three trainers. The first trainer um, didn't work out because I felt like I knew everything. And I didn't, you know. I didn't. I felt like I knew everything. So I ended up getting a different trainer. I felt like she wasn't um, training me fast enough. But you can't get trained fast enough because this is something that you really have to take your time to know. You cannot rush through this because this is something that is very, this is like a dangerous career, you know, to have. It's not just as easy as you think it is, you know, driving a truck. It's not all you do. You know, you, you're driving for yourself and others, you know. So, this is not something, if you're just trying to get into this because you're just trying to learn how to drive a truck real quick and think you're going to make some money quick, no, this is not that. This is really a job where you have to really be focused at all times and you have to know everything. So, yeah, I feel like, okay, I was doing too much the first time. So, I went home. Then I waited for another trainer, and it was a woman, again, and she was actually cool. You know, she taught me a lot of stuff, you know. She taught me a lot of stuff. Um, she taught me how to park. I didn't learn how to park with the first trainer, but the second trainer, I learned how to park good. Okay, I guess. I say okay. I learned how to park okay. And we lasted for about a week. And so she started acting crazy. So I had to let her go. Then I got a male trainer. Okay, this is the last trainer that I had. And for some reason, it was cool. Like, the male trainer was cool. Like, I learned everything I needed to learn from this male trainer. Like, I got into tight spots, you know, and everything. I, um, I learned how to do a blindside um, backing. You know, I I drove into like a um a restaurant, you know. Actually my trainer told me to drive into a area. It was a hotel and it had like a small area. Restaurants and everything was around. So um I don't understand why we drove that way, but we got kind of stuck and people were looking at us like, Okay, you guys, how y'all gonna get out of this? You know, so I'm behind the wheel. He outside the truck trying to guide me and show me which way to go and da-da-da-da. And we finally get out of that, okay? So, you really have to take your time doing things. You really have to pay attention to the street signs. You have to pay attention to your GPS. You have more than one GPS because you're going to need more than one GPS. Because your GPS is not going to always lead you to the right place. So, sometimes you're going to have to do your trip planning before you actually go okay so it was time for me to take my road test with um with um us express okay and guess what when i get there did my road test i got nervous i passed my skills test and everything you know, they had you do tests on the computer. I passed that. They had me do the simulation. I passed that. When I did the road test, guess what? I failed it. Don't ask me how. I don't even know how I failed it, but I failed. Okay? So, of course, I cried like a big-ass baby. I called um, my um, 
dispatcher and you know I explained to her what happened because she really thought that I passed she didn't know that I was on my way home so I called and I talked to her and you know she told me she said okay well you know I told her I really like the company and everything I don't want to you know give up you know I don't want to have to go home is there a way that I can retest you know da da da, da. and she was like well I'm sorry you cannot retest so right there I was just so freaking mad like I was like I'm finna just give up you know I'm not gonna pass this shit I'm just finna give up okay but I didn't give up I talked to some woman I don't remember her name but I talked to her and I just you know I kept telling her like I really like this company you know this is the company that I want to work for so she told me basically go work for a different company for three months get your experience there and then come back to us and we will hire you so that's what I did I went to Snyder for about three months and I got my experience there and once I did that I called US Express back and they hired me just like that okay of course I had to do background check I had to do hair and follicle check um drug test um of course i had to go back through orientation but not the role test orientation because i was experienced at this point so i didn't have to do any of that but you know i had to do a physical and everything worked out good so i'm back with the company that i want to be with so yes my journey was kind of crazy you know ups and downs but at the end of the day I did what I came to do, and that was to become a truck driver, okay? And I'm happy. I'm happy I made it. Um, this is a very good career for me. And if you are a new truck driver, or if you are thinking of becoming a truck driver, you know, don't give up on your dream. You know, if this is your dream, don't give up, you know, because it's going to work out. Yes, it's going to be hard. It's definitely going to be hard. It's not easy, you know, especially if you have children, family at home that you're missing. It's not going to be easy, you know. But if you stick it out, it will become easy for you because once you get all your experience up and you've been doing it for maybe a year or two, you know, there are jobs out here that you can get that are local, you know, so that you can be home. You know, if you got kids and you want to be home, you can be home every night. Or they have dedicated accounts, you know, um, in different trucking companies where you can be home on the weekends or every other day. It depends on you, you know. And if you're that person that just likes to go over the road, then, hey, this is for you, you know. Um, I did do, I did local. I did OTR. And now I'm on dedicated okay i like the otr but i feel like because i have small children that is not something that i can do right now because of the fact that i have little children you know my children are in are in ages from 14 to 2 and i have three of them so yeah i don't think that being over the road is not for me right now because my kids are so young but when they get older trust me i'm out there because, you know, I like, I want to see the city, you know, I want to see the different states. I want to see different things, you know, and I have had the chance to see and go to almost 26 states. So I'm kind of happy with that. You know, I'm not bragging. It's not really nothing to brag on, but I'm kind of happy that I had the chance to experience that, you know. So, yes, I'm still learning just because it's been a year there is still things that I'm learning, okay? So there will be things that you are still going to learn. It's not going to be easy, like I say. So don't give up. Keep on rolling, okay? And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's not edited or anything. Hopefully, I learned how to edit my videos because I do want to learn how to do that. It'll be a while before I actually sit down and try to learn how to do that so thank you for watching my video comment on my video i don't care give me any type of advice that you need to give me um 
you know, I just try to keep it real with you. Everything that, everything that went on, you know, I'm not having anything, you know, it's the real deal. Okay. So like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel if you have not. And thank you guys so much for tuning in and you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.